My name is Eric Ernest. I work for APR. I'm a calibration engineer. If you if you have an APR calibration, which you might consider off the shelf, we're going to spend three three months or more on that particular calibration uh, to learn that ECU strategy and that engine and that particular platform. If you tune it appropriately, it's going to work in every condition that you can do. So we go through and do our best to make sure that we test every condition that the car is going to be calibrated in. And if you consider platform experience, Volkswagen Audi specific, or even ECU type specific, we're going to likely have more combined experience, man hours than everyone else in the marketplace. And that's by virtue, we have more calibrators, more dyno, and we spend more time calibrating cars than anything else, right? The calibrators that work at APR, we focus solely on calibration. You know, we're not responding to your messages on Facebook. We're not answering your phone calls. So we have, we have a couple different dynos here at APR. Our engine development dyno is a Superflow 901 engine water brake dyno. We use that for a lot of our uh, development work that's gonna be long-term. We also have three other chassis dynos. We have an all-wheel drive Dynapack. We're able to test that without any wheel slip because it bolts directly to the hubs. And we also have two Mustang dynos, all-wheel drive 500 SEs that flip on different directions so you can load them differently. We have some serious fans. We've got a three-phase 20 horsepower motor driving these things. They're 36 inch fans and they can zing at 100 mile an hour air. And we can build a lot of pressure on the front of the car. You're not gonna find that at any, any dental shop. There's, a, there's just very, very few I would say, in my experience, in the world that exists that have the type of uh, you know, dyno cell that we have, the tools that we're afforded to use in these cars is not the same what everybody else has. We've developed our own tools in-house. We're not using a commonly available tool that you can, you know, where we've particularly developed these tools over the course of our time at APR to make them a lot better, a lot faster, cover more variables than other people do. Another thing we do is uh, instrumentation of the cars. And what that means is we're going to add additional sensors that weren't there from the factory and we're going to uh, collect that information and use it to either improve the existing models that are there. You know, we might add a shaft speed sensor, discharge air temperature, downpipe, EGT. Like we'll actually measure what the car's going through, right? And based off our racing experience and our experience tuning cars for a long time, we know the range of which we can operate these cars in. So by adding these additional sensors, we're going to get a lot more information uh, that's not available to the general tuner who's just plugging into the OBD port. They're not going to take your turbo manifold off, instrument it, and add the sensors, go through the time of setting it up. They're, they're just not going to. They don't have enough time. It's not profitable for their business model. You know, They want to have a car come in. They want to strap it down. They want to flash it, make a few calibration changes, get the car off the dyno, go to the next one. Right? And that's the majority of what you're going to see. Where we spend our time in very publicly is the time and effort that we put into the tunes uh, to make sure that they're going to work in every situation. And another particular thing is because of our dealer network set up, we're not just one tuner in one shop, right? We have dealers throughout the world. We can, we can utilize them for, for beta tests. We could also test um, the different, different box codes or visions that happen in different countries. The calibration sometimes are specific to a region, whether it's Asia, or Europe, or North America. So we're able to verify those calibrations in that foreign country uh, on a vehicle before they get released to the public. One of the other features that you have with an APR tune is that we're able to uh, provide updates free of charge. Uh, so if we want to add a feature, typically we'll learn a lot when we go from stage one to stage two to a, a hybrid turbo or to a big turbo, or, or we go and, and develop a new transmission software that now couples with the ECU side, or we're making new hardware parts and testing them, right? So when we're doing dyno work, we're not just doing calibration work to test that. We're also help develop the hardware parts, whether the intakes, downpipes, intercoolers, turbos, and any other parts that need to be really changed, we work really well with the hardware groups to be able to figure out what's going on. And through that experience, we're going to find stuff and we're going to find interesting pieces or ways to, to make more horsepower. And as we find those things as we're progressing through the platform, uh, we want to be able to update those to our customers. So we have a very simple, elegant, sleek way. We, we make a revision and then we send an email out to all of our customers to let them know that they can go to their local APR dealer and, and flash an update free of charge. So. We're not going to charge you to continue to be our customer, and we're going to support you throughout the time that you own the product. <laughs> exactly. Where's my dyno guys at? <laughs> Validate, this is all-wheel drive. <laughs>